Potty training for kids? We seriously need help and ideas. Thank you for joining. My name is Nanette. I study to be a teacher. I've been in the field of special needs and autism for the last 15 years, and I'm also a mom to three kids myself. Potty training is something that all of us go through at some other stage, and often it's not all that much fun. And often it doesn't go as quickly as we hoped that it would so we all can do with some strategies that's going to make this potty training time for our child and for us of course a little bit easier we are all about sharing functional and easy to implement strategies with you so if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel yet please consider doing so if you like us to share free videos and strategies with you for today's topic toilet training and how can we make that a little bit easier for us and for our children. I know I've potty trained my own three children, of course, and then also quite a few other kids over the years of working with children, so I know this is not an easy task. However, if we think of our children's future, I'm pretty sure that for us as parents, one of the things that we often tend to think about is their independence and increasing their independence. And potty training, of course, is a huge matter if we think about our kids being independent enough to even go to school, let alone thinking about further ahead than, than just going to school. So I want to share with you today five things, and it's easy things, that's going to help you to make potty training and toilet time a little bit easier for you and your child at home, or anywhere you go, really. The first one, using a schedule. And it seems so simple and perhaps so unnecessary, but this is really a big thing. If you take a moment and just go and figure out how often your child is having accidents at the moment, let's say it's happening every 45 minutes, then I would suggest taking your child to the toilet on schedule every 30 minutes. And it can be really tempting if, if they start doing well or even if they're successful at times to skip some of the, those 30 minute schedules, but stick to it. Until they are more consistent and more comfortable with the idea of using the toilet, stick to your schedule. You can decide the time frame that you want to use, but make sure that it's shorter than the time that an accident usually happens. So 30 minutes would be a good one, but if you feel that that is too long stretch between going to the toilet, then make it shorter, 15 or 20 minutes. So using a schedule is super important when you think about potty training your child. Number two, keep it fun. Now, I absolutely get it. If you are on a toilet training schedule with your child, you're going to the toilet every 15 minutes, and now it's three o'clock in the afternoon already, and you've been to the toilet every 15 minutes, then it's not fun anymore. But it's also not fun for our kids anymore at that time. So that is why it's our job to make this time a little bit more bearable for them. We want to encourage our children to go to the toilet on schedule at first until they get into the habit of doing so when they need to use the toilet. So we want to set it up in a way so that they don't mind practicing for a few days or a few weeks or however long it may take. So make the toilet training time fun. For the minute or two that you're gonna spend in the bathroom, perhaps bring along some water toys. You can leave it in the bathroom, especially if you're gonna visit the toilet, the bathroom every 15 or 20 minutes. Um, perhaps you can have a fun toilet song, a little dance that you do for your child during toilet time. Open the tap, do some water play even. We all know that the sound of running water sort of encourages us to go. And the same is going to happen for your child. It's just going to make it a little bit more fun, a little bit more bearable, so that they won't mind practicing toilet time. Then number three, countdowns are better than meltdowns. Absolutely. So have a countdown timer present for the amount of time that you are going to expect your child to sit on the toilet. And don't make it too long, especially if you're visiting the bathroom every 15 or 20 minutes. A minute, perhaps? A minute or two and have a countdown timer you can make it really cool a visual timer with bubbles or water or you get really amazing visual timers even on your phone if you want to use something like that just keep it away from the toilet of course 
and use that as a fun way of showing them the, the way that the time is passing and how long they have left to sit on the toilet. So countdowns are better than meltdowns. And then number four, this is a pro tip, there's certainly a certain am amount of satisfaction that goes with ticking off a completed task. So we would suggest for you to have a chart up in the bathroom or in the, in the toilet where you can tick off or even your child can tick off every time that he or she goes to the toilet, whether they're successful or not. So make a point of ticking it off every time they go, they sit on the toilet and they're done again. That satisfaction for your child even is going to be very rewarding. And then number five, a big fuss for the actual deed. Of course, when your child is successful on the toilet, you're going to have a party. You're going to do dances and do songs and jump up and down and cheer if that is something that your child likes. And involve the other members of the family to make a big fuss when your child has success. Make sure though that you're going to give the, the social praise sincerely and in a way that your child actually finds reinforcing. You don't want to start uh, screaming and dancing and doing happy chants if that's not something that your child is into. But reinforce accordingly and make sure that they know how proud you are of them. Something that I, I want to add is we all know that toilet training time can be really stressful for us as parents especially. I'm pretty sure we've all been in mom's groups or had friends or other parents saying how easy toilet training is and the 18 month old little toddler was toilet trained, is toilet trained and they have no issues. It was so easy and you're doing something wrong. We all know it's not that easy and I'm pretty sure I like to think that parents sharing those stories and those ideas with you aren't intentionally trying to be irritating or uh, make you angry but it's it's not great to hear from other parents how easy it is when we know it really is not that easy go and try out these five strategies at home and let us know if these are making a difference for your child making toilet time a little bit easier because we are all on that road to increasing functional independence in our kids